Morro Bay has got to be the prettiest beach town in California. I say that because it's got so many contrasting features. And it's not just the rock. It's also that we have a beautiful bay, a long brackish back bay filled with amazing wildlife, a seven mile sand spit topped by historic Morro Rock. And then we have long sandy beaches like all other beach towns. This world class scenic beauty is enhanced not only by our great wildlife, but all the great activities we have. Surfing, kayaking, fishing, and of course, the great restaurants and shopping along our Embarcadero, which reminds me of a mini Monterey or old fashioned San Francisco. Hello, this is Jim from Morro Bay Fishing. Usually I make videos on fishing, but the weather has kept the fish safe in their lockers. So I decided to do a video on one of my favorite parts of Morro Bay, the Embarcadero. So come along with me as I walk the Embarcadero from Tideland Park to Coldman Park and show you my favorite restaurants, shopping, and the back alleyways of Morro Bay. So here we are at the most southern end of the Embarcadero, Tideland Park. It's a great place to stop after a long drive, let the kids burn off some uh, energy, and it has all the amenities you'll need to get yourself refreshed and ready to go for a walk down the Embarcadero. It is late winter and an absolutely gorgeous day in Morro Bay. Good morning. Nice day. Oh, right up ahead there is a place a lot of people park, but sometimes in the middle of summer that place is full. That's why I kind of used to parking up there on top of the hill there at Franklin Park. And you can see the stairs where I usually come down and head into Tide the Park. Walking north, this will be the first restaurant you'll come to. This is the Yacht Club of Morro Bay, and it looks like they're having a really busy day today. Shell Shop's been part of Morro Bay forever. I come down here every time I visit the Embarcadero. Okay, yeah. Right if I film around here? Now we're going to run across the street and take a look at this uh, kayak rental place. It's one of the oldest in Morro Bay. That's why I wanted to show it to you. And you can see all the people kayaking. Heading up the street, we enter our first alleyway full of stores. Perfect. Coffee and cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah. It's going to be good. One thing I like about Morro Bay is the little back walks. Yeah, on the uh, Sandspit side or the bay side here, there's a whole series of walks behind the stores that you can walk down and uh, stay right next to the bay and boats and everything. It's very pretty. It's the kind of place you want to go fishing with an old French fry, see what the heck is down there. <laughs> One thing you got to worry about on a kayak day is uh, the current, because sometimes the current is ripping. And trying to get back to the place can be quite the chore. <laughs> this is where this little section comes out. So we're going to head back out to the road. At this point, I have a choice to walk down the street and see the shops or once again, kind of dive behind all the little buildings and walk down the docks. And I prefer the docks just because you always have a nice view of the rock. I'm going to walk on down that way, then past all the crowd, kind of turn back and look at them. See they're having a nice breakfast. It's like nine in the morning, by the way. And just looking at this beautiful bay on a beautiful day. You can hear all those sea lions hanging out on a dock out in the middle of the bay there. It's the kind of thing that makes it a true ocean experience. The colors are amazing. I think we saw these guys right at the beginning of one of the long canoes. There's other guys out here too. I think some of them are just tourists and some are actually racing. Here's some more access behind the, uh, the buildings. This restaurant isn't open yet, but it's a great place for seafood. And of course, you can see the rock all the way down to the stacks. And I think we can see the seal. Oh, yeah, there's the racers right there.
Morning. Well, there's plenty of places to buy t-shirts and hats here in Morro Bay, but of course, what's going to catch my eye? Uh, the little candy store over there. Mmm, chocolate. It was freshly made? Yes, I It looked delicious. <laughs> Your grandpa's recipe? Yeah. I didn't even bring my wallet. Now I really want to try one. I see the Yacht Club is doing the Yacht Club stuff. Got their little little Toros out. I think they run a course. Moore Bay used to be quite the working bay. Now it's more of a tourist place. I first got here fishing, fishing, fishing. Got your sea lions over there all hanging out. Always fun to listen to. We'll head over to the big uh, blue green building over there in a second. First, I want to cross the street here and uh, show you the chessboard, giant chessboard, and Dorn's. That's Dorn's up there. It's a great restaurant. Never been disappointed. Seafood is great. It's a little expensive, but you won't be disappointed. And this is, that was, that was a chessboard. You could play there. Just call the uh, Parks and Rec. So back across the street, here's some nice uh, metal sculptures and a great view down the street. They've been working on this exhibit for a while. Look at the really great tile work. Three stacks in a rock. We're heading down that way. This place has three dollar hot dogs and it was packed. It looks like 10 in the morning. I remember heading down to the ocean as a kid. We go to Santa Cruz and just the thought of saltwater taffy made my mouth water. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Entering this area, what I quickly notice is that almost everybody standing around here is uh, a local. So there must be something delicious going on inside Daisy's little cafe there. Probably ought to go check it out. Looks like they're having a whole lot of fun over there at the uh, Yacht Club with the El Toros. Looks like a really big adventure. This little backwalk popped out right there by uh, the Hofbrau. The Hofbrau serves uh, hand-carved beef sandwiches uh, along with some really good seafood. Been there a lot. The little puppies look like they're really enjoying themselves. Head over here to the surf shop, that's Wavelengths. I bought a lot of surfboards in there, been shopping there for a long time. After sweets, surfboard shops.
This is the uh, Fisherman's Memorial. It's a great place to enjoy the view with a little takeout. Which you could get uh, right down here at Giovanni's. You can see that Giovanni's is quite popular. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and people are lining up for lunch. Well, I wish you could see the crabs a little better. I have yet to actually try this at Giovanni's, but one of these days I gotta go in and get some. I love crab. People love the Giovanni's. It must be just over. <laughs> it's always boring if there's no one in the frame. Now, if you, you don't want a, a table at Giovanni's, you can come out here to the pickup window. Across the street over there is where you can rent those little surreys to drive out to the rock. That's always fun. And uh, there's a great breakfast place over there. People love it. I think it's Frank and Lolo's. As you head north, it becomes more of a working area. There's still lots of restaurants and stuff. But this is where most of the commercial fishing boats are. <laughs> This is the first of the big T piers. There's two of them up here in Morro Bay. You see otter right on down there and people fishing. This area is also where they park all the big yachts. You'll see some amazing boats coming here. Replicas, just giant super yachts. Uh, that's uh, the Great American Fish Factor. I think that was the first place I ate when I moved to Morro Bay. Across the street you can see the Maritime Museum. This is their uh, deep sea sub. And when I was a kid they made a movie, The Hunt for the Red October. I'm pretty sure that was in it as the top secret sub. Now it's a museum piece. That looks like the very definition of claustrophobia. Okay, back across the street, we'll continue our journey north. I think they put the, the shark up there around the Jaws era. There's some of the large yachts I was telling you about. There's the Harbor Hut, another great restaurant with a good view, used to frequent quite a bit. This is their mural uh, by their outside seating. I just like, like it. What are you doing here, bud? Another place you can go uh, charter fishing along with Ver. You get out there and get yourself a nice cabazon. They grow oysters in the back bay, and I think they serve them right over there. Could be wrong, I don't remember that place. Uh, this is the uh, Tognazini's, the dock side. Uh, for some reason, this is the place we've been going to more and more. And of course, more saltwater taffy and cinnamon buns. This is where we usually come nowadays to get ourselves some seafood, or maybe some hamburgers, they good hamburgers. And that was the last of the shops. We're heading now down towards the uh, Coast Guard place, and there's the uh, fish processing plant down there, and of course, the rock. Heading right on towards Coleman Park here. But first, I met some fellow fishermen on the way. Did you catch anything? Uh, not yet, we're barely about to get started. Looking for some perch? Yeah. Should be biting. I saw the guy down the other dock over there pull up a couple. <laughs> I used to go fishing over by the rock when they're biting, you know? Yeah. And when you catch them right out of the ocean and you fry them up clean, they're not bad at all. I tried that. I, I deep fried them in some batter and, and they tasted kind of mushy. Mushy. They just tasted like ocean. <laughs> I can have a fishy flavor. I love salmon and everything, but I don't like the taste of 
A lot of people don't like perch for some reason. Uh, only size limits are on Cabazon and Lincots. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I do a fishing vlog, uh, Morro Bay fishing. There's no fishing right now, so I'm filming. Hey. Shoot, Jim's Morro Bay fishing. I'm there. <laughs> I probably watched you before. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have my other hat on. So. Good luck. Now we're walking by the uh, fish processing plant. That's where your fresh fish is going to come out of Morro Bay. And where a lot of our local restaurants will catch, they get their uh, fresh fish of the day if they don't buy it right off the docks, which I think Cognizini does. So here we are pulling up to Coleman Park. A bunch of people up here learning how to dive. Absolutely gorgeous view. And you get one of the prettiest views in California. If you got a prettier place than this, hey, comment below. I'd love to hear about it. And you might want to hit the like button and uh, subscribe. That would really help me out. Oh, and here we are looking at the, uh, this is the back bay. This is up by Los Osos, and that's Mount Bishop right there. So take out, beautiful. Now we're down by the rock. Just gonna send you out with some music. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.